Hello! In this video we will demonstrate a new additive 5D surfacing operation that can be used for surfacing one or more layers on an existing part or for 5-axis printing of a part on a substrate. Operation contains a large number of strategies to build the path. By the help of hints we can see the descriptions. First one is layers. Passes are built across the horizontal plane as a layered operation. Next, parallel to vertical plane. Layers of an arbitrary plane can be built by parallel to 3D plane. In this mode, passes are parallel to the curve which is set in the job assignment. Morph between two curves starts with the first curve and smoothly goes into the second. Around rotary axis. The path will be constructed by cuts between the part and cylinder of different diameter. A cross curve. Spiral between two curves. Morph and spiral to the plane. All of these strategies can be used with different tool orientation modes. Here you can see a list of functions which are responsible for the direction of the tool. Normal to surface, to each point of the surface. Flank, normal but rotated at 90 degrees. Fixed, the tool will work in the same position in which it was set in the beginning. To rotary axis. Throughout point, set this point as a coordinate or drag it. With this parameter, we'll convert not throughout a point, but the direction will be to a point. The same but throughout curve. Perpendicular to pass plane. Perpendicularity is calculated on each layer. That means it can be changed on each layer. A long curve. And the last and new mode is perpendicular to toolpath. This operation has a large number of parameters but for each we can see tips. Let's create an operation. Select spiral between two curves and orientation perpendicular to pass plane. Now in job assignment we need to set the surfaces. It's important to this strategy to set the first and second curves. There is such a feature for surfacing or printing that the tool is pointing down so that it doesn't print sideways since everything will flow down. For example, if the robot has a two-axis rotary table then we use these parameters. Continuously use the rotation and the tool is directed strictly down. For these parameters we want to build from the inside. Calculate the path. As you could see, the tool was already directed strictly down and compensated by two external axes. Now we looked at the surfacing inside the parts in a single layer. Now consider the second use of this operation, surfacing on an existing part. Here we'll use a parallel to curve strategy. The curve was built through these functions and on the surface. We can build polygonal curves or spline. Set new options in job assignment. Set an important parameter. Now we want to build outside, not inside the part. Here select normal to surface. The width of the surfacing zone can be set in millimeter or in interactive points. For example, if points, then at such a width we will have a surfacing and set it on one side, for example on the right.
The tool, as in the first operation, is always directed strictly down. All this is compensated by the two axes of the rotor table. If additional layers are necessary, means not in one layer but in several, then there are roughing passes. Set the value, and here we set sort by levels. Thank you for your attention.